Before we look at different scenarios of multi-hooping, let's look at the entire process of automatic multi-hooping. You must first choose a hoop size. Right-click on Show Hoop. Select the size of the hoop that you want to use. Make sure that there is a check mark by Show Hoop and click OK. The same size hoop must be applied to each split design. Select the multi-hooping toolbox. Any areas that are black are outside the hoop. Those that are green are inside the hoop. Let's first set our options. Click on the multi-hooping options. Make sure add registration marks on output is checked and the margin is at medium. Click OK to accept the options. We will use automatically add hoops for this design. Click on automatically add hoops. After selecting this icon, the software evaluates the design, splits the designs, rotates hoops if necessary, and calculates hoopings. In this design, the software rotated the hoop to make the design fit into two hoops. Click OK. To see how the design was split, click on Preview Hoopings. A docker opens on the right-hand side of the screen. Click and hold on Hooping 1. The software always includes as much of the design as possible in the first hooping. On the design screen, only the elements in Hooping 1 will be shown. Notice the red registration marks. These will stitch last in the first file. When you click on Hooping 2 and hold, only elements in that design are shown. Notice the green registration marks. They will stitch first in this file and are used to match to the red registration marks of the previous file. If the design has three hoopings, one of the files will contain both sets of registration marks. To send the design to a Bernina machine, click on Write to Card Machine. The hooping sequence screen shows the way the design is pieced together. Notice the red registration marks that appear in the first design. Clicking on the second design will show you the green registration marks. Select each element of the design and click on Send Now. The device selection box opens and you can choose your method of sending the design. Make sure you send each component by selecting it and clicking on Send Now. Again, make your selection to send the design. Click on Close to return to the design screen. If you have another brand of machine, you can first save the split design. To save the design, select File Export Machine File. Navigate to the location to save the file. Click on the drop-down arrow by Save as Type and you can choose among several different formats. Choose the format you wish to use and click on Save. A dialog box will open. Click on Yes to export one file for every hooping. The hooping sequence will show once again how the design has been split. To save all the files, just click on Save All and click on Close. You can then open the designs and navigate to where you save them and then send the files to your machine. If you wish to print templates, select Print Preview, click on Options, and you can make sure that hooping sequence is checked. Uncheck Print as Thumbnails and click OK, and this will print the individual design templates as well as a combined template. If you choose Print as Thumbnails and click OK, the sequence is shown only as thumbnails and individual templates will not be printed. Be aware that there is a difference in the way automatically add hoops behaves with an open design versus an inserted design. When automatically adding hoops splits an inserted design, the color changes are optimized by default. This does not happen with open designs. You can change an option in the multi-hooping tab of options by unchecking optimized color changes when adding hoops automatically 
the design will behave just like an open design. We'll talk more about this in the video on forcing a split.